guide. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a horror type game. Now this one I made like a year ago. And it's actually quite bad. But yeah, look into horror 2 I killed not found. And then you just create an account. Help uses, hello. And then someone will appear here. Oh, I wonder if the... Uh, yeah, it's quite bad. But I'm gonna teach you how to make a better one than that. Now, the reason I did that is for, um, for scratch games. Oh yeah, I remember that. So yeah, first of all, I'm gonna clearly teach you how to make a studio. To make a studio, make sure you're a scratcher. Um, go over to your projects and then just press new studio. Then you can call this anything, so I'm gonna call it um on a studio. You should remember why you have to do d.c Okay, so I've already shown this, but I've made the Discord And I've upgraded it a bit So We have general chat, which you guys can You know Chat in with moderator only These are the only people Main curators So if we go back in here and we go to curators If I um, invite someone to be a curator, um, they will get access to a moderator only. Well, only if I give them the role. So, yeah. The roles I have access to are everyone, apart from bot. So yeah, we are not going to give you creator on your developer as soon as you do it. I'm going to create an applications bit, so yeah, be right back. Okay, so I just set up Appy, so yeah, you could apply for it. And here you could do curator applications. I'm clearly going to get rid of my new curator. There we go. So now, if we enter it, Should, if we press this, it should have gave us a roll. So let's see. Yeah, it gives you your roll if you get so that. But also, we could deny it. So, yeah, we could also deny it. Do not be mad if we deny your applications when I do um, remake them. It's just a skill issue. Okay, now I'm going to work on the developer apps. Okay, so now that we've done that, if you have a good Discord, it should look a bit like this. And then you should have curator apps if you want to put it in. And then you should also have developer apps. By the way, this video is recorded multiple days because I started recording the last video at around 8 o'clock. So yeah, I'm going to do slash 
Right. And then I'm just going to select the developer. So, I'll post a tutorial on how to. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, make sure all channels are um, private until you have access to verified. So you're just going to do that to every single channel. I forgot to say that. Now the reason why is um, just gonna delete that. I'm gonna also verify this bot, so I need to also upload it to this thing. Do anything? Then press verify. Now, if you're on a cooldown, yeah, you have to do it uh, later, but yeah, you just press verify and then, yeah. So now that we're done with that, we could now get into the fun part. Um... There we go, so the fun part, making our game. First of all, good product. Now I was not lying that having to be a scratcher because you would need to make one. I am a scratcher, let me show you. Look, scratcher. And then join one new. First of all, you're going to go here and you go to paint. Then you're going to make this red or white, whatever colour you want. I'm just going to make it red. Now, you're going to want to type in your warning text. Now, don't be the person that's just choosing marker all the time. I used to do this and I'm just now realising how bad it is. So yeah, I recommend sticking to one font, so I usually stick to Serif. Make sure it's snapped into the middle, just snap it into the middle, you see that cross, you just put it there. I don't know why I had to explain that actually. Then, over here, you're going to want to write your warnings. So, this game contains... Lots of flashing lights and lots of shimp scares make sure to read this before playing. Now we're just going to group them. If you don't know how to group things, you just have to, first of all, select both the things you want to group. So go here and then select them both, then press group. So now when you grab one of them, both all of them move. So we're just going to snap all of them into the middle. Then we're just going to move this to the middle. And then boom, you create some text. You can do this without Scratcher. But you won't be able to make a studio for your game. So you're going to go to code, events, when flag clicked, 
um, looks show. Oh, yeah, make sure it's in the center, by the way. And then in the question, yeah. that's why you could snap up to the middle. You don't have to have it right in the middle, but I just prefer it in the middle. So yeah, you're gonna go to zero zero. Also in looks, we're gonna go to set color button, change this to ghost, and then back to one hundred. Then we're gonna go to control. Wait, like, wait no. Make sure this is straight after the show. Wait, like. Uh, 0 0.5 seconds, then we're gonna go to repeat uh, 100 times, looks, and instead of set, we're gonna go to change, ghost effect by negative 2. So now, we're gonna copy, duplicate this, but this time we're gonna set this to 2. Then we're gonna get hide, and a broadcast and in this broadcast we're going to call this main menu then put a hide straight after then if we play it it should look like this there you go now also if you want it to be longer you could set it to like two seconds that's fine So once you've made that, it should, um, this, it should have this amount of code. Next up, we're going to go to choose a sprite and we're going to select paint. Now we're going to create like a main menu type thing. So I'm going to make the main character. I know a lot of people probably will agree and some people might not. But I'm gonna make it Scratch Cat. He's gonna be the evil character. Oh, evil! So, we're just gonna make him. Make sure that you could make him, um. Just look. Also, flip him horizontally. So he's facing this way. Then you're gonna create the text. So whatever game you wanna, so whatever you wanna name your game, might as well name it. Well, I'm gonna name it Scratch Cats Revenge. Now a lot of people do this type of like layout. Let's just say that. So it looks like he's looking at the text. So also up here, you're gonna name your game wherever you want to name it. Scratch Cats Revenge. Now we're gonna create some play buttons. Also name this title. To create a play button, go over here, then just write play. Or you can do new game, but I'm just going to do play. So you press that button, that big button. And then it should play the game. So now if we save, we can now work on this. So in the main menu, scratch cap, go to one for a click, uh, hide, but we're going to get a show and we're going to get a go to and then make sure it says where your scratch cap is. Then we're going to go in events, when I receive main menu, show. So it looks like this. Now, we're going to... Put them scripts also in title and sprite one. But no, we need to name this. 
play button. Oh my god, what am I typing? Play button. So we're going to give this code to both of them. So now it should do this. Oh yeah, change this to be where your play button is. And also change this. So now if we change it, it should work. It should look pretty nice. Also, I do tend to save my games a lot, so gonna save now if you don't save sometimes you can lose all your progress so also in play button we're gonna get a when this bright clicked and we're gonna broadcast then we're going to do play and in here when we receive play we're gonna hide it Now we will add like static and stuff like that in a second. So to get the static, then we're just gonna write static for finna. Make sure it's this exact search. Go into images and find a GIF. So to find a GIF, you're gonna wanna press on GIF. Then, you're just gonna wanna find this one. Then you're gonna wanna save image as. I'm gonna blur this out because it's in my personal folders. Then, you can download that and in here, going to go to upload sprite and you're going to upload the thing that you just downloaded it may take a while because there's probably so many scripts in there then this is 150 it still doesn't cover the screen just drag it up a tiny bit rename this to static then we're gonna get hide Show set that's some of that flag. When I receive two, when I receive actually this one, we're just going to play. I'm going to screw to hide, and then when I receive my menu, set the ghost effect to 75. When I receive play. Hide. So we're going to assist it now. But now it looks all boring and nothing's happening yet. So in here, we're also going to want to get forever. Then select next question. Then, then let's test it. Also, we're going to save now. Now it'll like this. Also, go to play button and then go to forever. Go to front layer. Then you're going to give everything the one I receive play hide script as well. So now we're going to also edit this character. So we're just going to duplicate him, then we're going to do just some twitching you guys could do. 
same if you want, just, yeah, make some twitching, and then, yeah, I've cut when I've done this bit. Once you've made your animations, you're going to get this, this, and this, when I receive main menu, and I'm gonna do, wait one second, also, switch costume to cat A, so it looks like that, then wait, um, zero point, wait no, I'm gonna go to operators, pick random, three to five, Okay. I'm coming! Hold on! Switch so costume to, and then you can just pick. So, yeah. Okay. We'll stop him from getting it. Wait! Always make sure you end with cat A. Then you've made the basic main menu also in here. When I receive play, we're also going to do um, stop this script. No, stop other scripts in sprite. I'm coming, hold on. Then, once you have done that, 